and welcome to another episode of Eat Book Vlogs. Today we are back at Jewel and we're going to try everything at not Shake Shack but A&W! Let's go! Actually, have y'all been to A&W before? Actually, I have. But it's like the JB one, the Malaysian one. Oh, is it along the highway? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my yes. god, I know that one. Kara? Highway? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I've been to the one in the mall. Same lah! It's A&W. Yeah. yeah, but do you know right, I went research on their menu in uh -huh. Singapore. It's much bigger than the one in JB. Eh. Really? Yeah. yeah, actually because they expanded their menu. So Ooh. like, there's more variety. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, so guys, we are here already. Let's go, let's go! <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start the root beer float first because there's no AW trip without root beer. Yes. And every school ice cream you add is 60, 60 cents. And apparently the mug is like frozen when we collected it just now. Oh. It was like really, really cold. And you know why they do that? Right. They don't add ice because if you add ice, right, oh, you'll be diluted. Dilute. Oh my god! No, I realized. I did so. You know, you don't drink new thing. It kind of reminds me of how root beer food actually tastes like when I had A and W for the first time. Definitely go for the double scoop because you want to get that creaminess in the root beer. Oh, I love it. Eh. Hey guys, guys, enough, eh? enough. Eh? We need to save our stomach space for the food. Stop. I oh, have the cup. Eh. I also. Eh. Okay, drinks aside, drinks aside. We're gonna start with the burgers first. So this burger, called the Moza Burger, is their top selling burger. And you know what? Combo, which consists of the burger, a side, and a root beer, only costs ten ninety, And that's the most expensive item on the menu. I just realised, right, they have like two patties here. Mm. It's like a double, it's not just single. So I think ten ninety is quite worth it. Yeah, it's a bang for your buck. Eh. See, you've been eyeing at this for the entire time. Yes, yes, You're gonna yes. start first, okay? Oh <laughs> well, I really love the beef patty. It's them juicy. There's a better mouthfeel. Yeah, it's thicker, right? Yeah, yeah, it's thicker. yeah. The Moza burger is juicy not only from the sauce but also the vegetable itself. The crisp dough, it looks crispy. When you bite it, the crisp kind of get mixed up with the sauce mm -hmm. and the vegetable juices and everything. So it's just there for like added bonus. You can't really taste it, you can't really feel the texture, mm -hmm. but you know it's there. One like special thing about this burger here is that the bun is different. And I think it added like a different texture to the entire burger. Yeah. It's not your typical sesame bun mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. Yeah. You know Moza burger, you cannot only find in Singapore. For now, you can find it in like America or like other countries. However, the next burger we're gonna try is called the cream cheese chicken burger. You can only find it in two places in the world. Singapore. Let me guess. And Onikiwa. Okiwa. Okinawa. Okinawa. Hey, this is a bit different because you can taste a lot of different things inside like mm. the onion rings, the caramelized onions, the patty, just everything inside. Mm. This whole thing is like a good package. Yeah, like it's, it really comes together really well. The chicken is really thick and I like that the onion rings gave the crunch. Oh. Yeah, if you're a fan of cheesy stuff like me, right, mm. this burger is for you. I prefer the cream cheese burger over the Moza burger. Yeah, same. It's back to differ. I ah. prefer this burger. Oh. Like, hey, hear me out, okay? <laughs> Maybe I'm not a big fan of you. And I feel like after this whole burger, it might be too jelak. Like there's too much flavour going on. So maybe this for someone who likes heavier flavour. Team, team cream cheese, cheese burger. That one Moza. is... Team Moza. <laughs> I feel like this one is more value for money. Because, because of the like, chicken portion. Mm. Did, did she just agree with us now? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, okay. I don't know what she's thinking. No, it's value for money because look at the chicken patty. It's huge. Okay, now we're gonna try the more classic burgers. The ones before that are zeng up. Hey, there's three. One, two, three. Grab the one that we want to try, okay? okay. One. Hey. No thinking. One, two, three. Oh, the fish. I like chicken again. <laughs> oh, yeah, she didn't like the chicken one. <laughs> okay, lah, Anna. Here, the double cheeseburger, and it's $5.90. Mine is the chubby chicken, and it's also $5.90. Mine is the marina fish sandwich, and it's only $3.90. I think mine today the classic. Huh? It's a pickle, tomato sauce, and like two patties. Yeah. Yeah. The chicken is quite consistent. It's like the same as the previous one. Mm. It's juicy. The only bad thing is just the sauce. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Y
chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. chicken wing, uh. Are you gonna snatch again? Okay, one. Two. <laughs> From the look of it, you can already tell that the batter is seasoned. And yeah. that's what I love about fried chicken. Wow, guys, when I peeled the chicken open, I can smell the juices oh, yeah, and salivating. Wow. 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 Salivating. We left the chicken out for so long, but the skin is still so crispy. They say that they don't use frozen chicken, they're oh, all yeah. fresh. And you can tell the difference. Um, the texture is really juicy and tender. The batter, though, I feel like eating a chicken flavored twisty, but 10 times the flavor. To be honest, I, I took the breast meat. So the meat is a bit more like to the drier side. Uh -huh. Yeah. Give me this one. Give me this one. It's really meaty. Eh. I thought, right, it's gonna be like maybe full of batter because the batter looks thick. But when I open it and start biting it, right, the meat is just like chunky. I think if you're a like huge chicken fan, right, if you come to AW, it's, I think it's worth a try. Mm. Actually, AW not bad. Yeah. Uh. You have the best of both worlds. Yeah. Burger if you want, and you got chicken, chicken. if you want. Yeah. Yeah. One more you got. Oh, oh yeah, the no. hot dog. Okay, let's move the on. Best of three worlds. Okay, so we got two pony dogs. One is the chicken sausage with beef mm. sauce and mm. another one is the chicken sausage with chicken sauce. What are you doing, Gwen? Is it spread out the thing so that here won't be left out? We try <laughs> together. We try together. Uh, try mine also. <laughs> Not everybody wants me to eat. Okay, yeah, she's more desperate, so I do it with her. <laughs> The beef one, it really tastes like how it smells. Curry, powder, cumin, mm -hmm. kind of. Actually, I agree with you. And I like how there's like chopped onions on it. So mm. that there's an added texture. It's not like one plain hot dog bun. After trying both, right, the beef one has a stronger cumin taste as compared mm. to the chicken one. So for those who don't really like the taste of cumin, maybe go for the chicken one instead. I feel like texture-wise, the beef is softer than the chicken bits as well. Mm. It's a bit firmer for the chicken one. The beef kind of has the same texture as the sauce. So for me, I would choose the beef hot dog instead because it's like you eat the chicken hot dog and then the thing that's on top is to mm. it I think it's a good grab and go yeah, Especially when the hype dies down and then the queue is not so long. I've been right, eyeing at guys. the fries for so long. Oh. It's Twister fries. Twister? Huh? Pearly! That is McDonald's. Ten, ten, ten. We have curly fries. And the sauces are the same as compared to the coney dogs. Other than diced onions, they also have diced tomatoes on top. And, oh. and oh, so what? cheese. Oh yeah! Out of all right, this was the most appealing to me. Because I like cheese. Really? Oh, it's oh, me. Yeah. I like cheese too. We are Team Cream Cheese Chicken Burger. Cheers! First and foremost, the cheese taste is very, very strong. It's so strong that it overpowers the beef sauce, mm. I would say. I love that the nacho cheese shouts nacho cheese. And yeah, you can't really taste the beef sauce anymore. I think that's where the diced onions and tomato play a part. It's a bit more refreshing, it cuts the gelatinous. Actually, I tasted the fries alone itself. It really reminds me of the seasonal McDonald's Twister fries. So, you don't have to wait for Twister fries anymore. You can come down here, it's always here. Yeah, yeah. all you have to do is just wait in a queue for a while. So other than the fries, they also have onion yeah, rings. Wait, what? what? Honestly, what? Right, this is huge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think I know why. The onion rings served in A&W is not the flour kind. The, the legit, legit onion. onion. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just say that I'm a huge fan of onions? Like any onion related stuff, right, I'll eat. No, I know she fart a lot. Eh? <laughs> she fart in office. Damn disgusting. Once I bite this onion ring, right, the onion slices is still like intact. It just shows that like they really use fresh onions inside. The waffles are here. The waffles are here. The oh waffles are here. Hey, I know what kind of waffles you like. Throwback to student cafe vlogs. <laughs> yeah, we both like do. crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. How about you? Opposite of us. Yeah, confirm. <laughs> They only have one kind of waffle here, mm -hmm. but they offer it in three varieties. One is the butter and syrup, one is the chocolate topping, and the last one is the strawberry okay. topping. You know what we said just now? We prefer like crispy outside, but inside it's like soft. But this one is like all crispy. Mm -hmm. I think it's true, yeah. Okay, I took quite a big bite, so I feel like it's crispy at first. Then the more you chew, it gets a bit more dense. So it's like almost like a light chewy mochi. This is perfect for kids actually. Yeah. I think kids will love, love, love the strawberry ones a lot because it's sweet. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I would go for the root beer float. Instead, oh, as compared to the waffle, yeah. more refreshing mm. and like, mm. creamy. Now we don't talk about bang for your buck, we talk about bang for your calories. <laughs> that one is more bang for your calories. <laughs> okay, so we are finally done with having everything on the menu and we are currently drinking the Alley. Okay, wait, let me find them. Yeah. Oi! <laughs> so what we ordered is all from the brown sugar series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the alley is actually famous for their brown sugar pole. Love it eh, I feel like the brown sugar taste is on point. But you don't need to come all the way down to Juro for the alley because there's one outlet opening at Sydney Leisure in Mid Mid. I'm going there. <laughs> okay, this is my first time eating everything on the menu. And oh. another cup of bubble tea. <laughs> well, there's always a second stomach for bubble tea. Yeah, true. So actually, how was a &W for y'all? I love the fact that the taste of childhood is still there. For me, right, I can recognize the root beer float. Like, once I drink it, I was like, oh my god, it's been this long. 
it's actually worth the queue, you know. Like the burgers are like surprisingly better compared mm. to the ones we had in JB. Mm. Overall, my favorite is still like my burger. Moza burger. burger. <laughs> <laughs> Ours is the cream cheese, cheese burger. burger. <laughs> I really think that their burger is worth a try. Yeah. And also the classic root beer float. Hey, I heard that A and W is 24 hours. We have clarified the stuff. It's open 24 hours, but different timings sell different stuff. From 7 to 11, you get more concise menu. From 11 to 3 a.m., you get the full menu. And then from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m., you can only get the root beer float mm. or the root beer. Like, ah, 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 pasta, pasta, pasta. Okay, the show is about to start. And mm -hmm. thank you for watching this episode of ebook blog. If you like this video, don't forget to watch more over there. And don't forget, forget to, to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! <laughs> Your hair!